I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box. Hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? <sighs> All right, let's do some grounding spray. Okay, so today we're going to do pick a card. I got a new chair, so I'm really excited. I'm sitting a little lower than I normally am, but I'm super comfortable. <laughs> so, um, this will be helpful. And I'm doing this early in the morning because it's supposed to be 101 today. And speaking of 101, the cards that we're going to pick are going to be the Guiding Signs 101 Guidebook. All right. I'd like to invite in all the loving angels. To guide us on this collective reading for your highest good and for the good of others. Let me be a clear and open channel for the messages coming through. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you find it is when it's meant for you. Although we are in the second Capricorn, Capricorn, <laughs> Capricorn full moon happened yesterday morning like three between three and six depends on where you are in the world uh here pacific it was 3 16 i believe and then um 9 16 eastern so uh we are now on the next day it's been a full 24 hours plus okay we still have the energy of the full moon though So Capricorn is about um, assigning tasks. So getting into your routines, figuring out your plans. Maybe even getting a uh, team together. Okay, so let's see what your piles are. So I started out here with um, the stones. And I think I'll go over those once I get the cards out. All right. Oh, so we have green light. Oh, way too many here. It's not the one I wanted. There we go. Oh, road closed. And begin. Okay, I'm going to read the meanings of the book here as well. Green light, yeah, 36, that's a nine, that's new beginnings, wisdom, or it's, it's endings and wisdom, which you know, ultimately leads to new beginnings. Alright. 
Okay, green light. Go, now is the time to move. The way ahead is smooth. Your path is clear. Hold on and just steer. Personal inquiries for today. What are the things that you are most committed to? What are the places that give you, that give yourself wholeheartedly to? What are the places you give yourself wholeheartedly to? In what situations do you find yourself tentative when you want to go forward? Where can you let yourself go forward without holding back? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that side right now. Okay, and that one is the Soda Light. That's the gods of love and marriage. Um, it's good for your third eye chakra and helps develop your psychic abilities. Okay. Then we have road closed. Eight, which is 17 that's an 8 that's about manifesting it's infinity it's abundance mm. alright just trying to find a bookmark or something but we'll come back to it later Alright, road closed. This road is closed, even on tipsy toes. There is no way through. Time to decide what to do. Personal inquiries for the day. Can you recall times when something you wanted closed only to have a more perfect thing appear? What other options aligned with your passions are there to explore? When do you trust your heart to guide you and when don't you? What outmoded bent beliefs or fears blocking you are now ready to release? Yeah, we're in the full moon, so it's about releasing. Okay, and we have the Pranite, which is connected to your heart and solar plexus chakras um, to connect your heart with your will. Alright, and we have begin. Sixty. So six is um about harmony, and this is divinely guided and amplified. Okay, begin. It's time to begin a whole new chapter. Look and see what you're ready, you're really after. Look and see what you're really after. Clear intentions will be your guide as you embark on this brand new ride. I love how they rhyme. All right, personal inquiries. What is it time for you to begin? What are your clear intentions? Where do you see openings unfolding? Where is your heart pulling you? All right, and we have the how light. This is positive energy flow, soothing sense of calm and tranquility. It's really good for meditation or helping you sleep. Okay. 
Okay. And I do want to pull out the zodiac signs. So it's going to be four for each. Uh, I put these in the wrong bag again. <laughs> so I keep mixing everything. So let me quickly organize here. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to pull out four zodiac signs for each file. Okay. And you don't have to pick the pile associated with your zodiac sign. It's just another way to pick the pile. Okay, we have Leo. We have Gemini. We have Scorpio, and we have Sagittarius, All right, Pisces, this one is Taurus, Cancer, Libra. Okay, this one I believe is Capricorn. Yep. Aquarius. Uh, Virgo. And Aries. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take um, some time to look those over, pick your piles, however you want, either through the card, your stone, or your zodiac signs, and it could be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It could even be a cross watcher, whatever feels right to you. Okay, so this is going to be pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Okay. Alright, pile number one. You have the green light. Okay, this is your deeper meaning. Okay, if you're asked a yes or no question, the green light card means yes. Green light means go. When you get the green light card, you're being told that this is the time for saying yes. This is the time for moving forward with whatever you have been inquiring about. Let your arms be wide open. It's now time to go. Time to do it. It's time to take advantage of the moment. We often feel like we are looking for the green light, the yes. Take a moment and find your yeses. Whether it's a person, a place, a thing, or a cause, Note the things that you are most committed to. Find the places where you want to put your time and energy. Let yourself be completely, let yourself go completely and commit to those things you love with your whole being. Notice any part of yourself that holds back and is tentative. With an intention to do the things you love, you can bring, you can begin to let go of the things you don't. You can begin to give fully without holding back. Look at yourself closely. 
If you are being guided to do something and are afraid you might not succeed, let the power of your love and commitment banish your fear. If you have drawn the green light card today, you are being told yes. Let your love and passion light your way and go for it. Enjoy. Okay. Okay, pile number one. What is your yes? What are we going for? Three of Swords. Six of Pentacles. The Tower. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, so it does look like that you had some sort of heartbreak. Um, something that had had happened suddenly. Um, you might have lost some finances or and or a marriage. I feel like it's time for you to start rebuilding those things um you know after this tower crumbling and foundation crumbling from underneath you and lighting on fire it is time for you to restart for a new foundation i feel like Whoever you were with before, um, it kind of looks like a devilish hand over here was really tempting you with some sort of tangible items. It could literally be money. It could be, um, things. It could be, you know, fancy houses, cars, jewelry, um, and it's time to balance that out. Because that was based off of something that was not healthy. Okay, and then over here, you know, I even see this house. It almost looks like a, like a gingerbread house. You know, something that can easily fall apart, especially in, in the heat. All right, it's just gonna melt away. And you really did feel a connection with this person. You really did love this person. And you still want a good relationship with somebody. Uh, I'm hearing, you know, be careful where you build your house. Is it the right environment? Where you end up landing? Um, and it's interesting because I do see it's, you know, there's no grass or anything here. It's just all black around the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
with the landscaping here after this fire. All right, after this collapse. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need water. <clears throat> All right, let's see who this other person is. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody who offered you some money for sure. The Emperor. Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Yeah, because I see here this other person hiding behind their money. So maybe they're really trying to show off to you, like impress you with you know, all these fancy cars and this house and making you promises um, to offer you everything. You know, acting very high and mighty very boastful. I do see um, quite a bit about religion here. So maybe you thought they were a spiritual person, but they turned out to be more of the devil. Um, yeah, which could still be a spirituality, I guess. Um, because it is kind of part of the whole picture. But you thought they were very godly and loving. Yeah, here we have the Queen of Cups. Somebody who was in control of their emotions and their feelings. But they have this, um, you know, the two people on your shoulder. One saying one thing and the other saying another. You know, one's good, one's bad, letting you know, you know, how you should act, basically, or think, right? But they're hiding behind this mask here. It's not really who they are. They're, they're more of this animal here. This looks like a beaver maybe I can't see the tails um, or a muskrat was it the muskrats I actually think I'm gonna read that one okay the three of pentacles Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles highlights the value of working as a team. A myriad of skills and talents often exist within a group. Utilizing these skills properly can lead to huge success within a project. Three prairie dogs gather within a church to discuss what's next for their group. In nature, the prairie dog rarely attacks a goal alone. Each animal works as a specific part of the community to build a town they are proud of. Three stained glass pentacles have been crafted into the background of the cathedral. Carefully set within architecture of concrete and wood. Okay, so that's like the architecture that is uh, better than this gingerbread house, right? It's stronger. Craftsmen from many trades would have had to work together to create the space. Your leadership ca cap mm. capabilities <laughs> can't be undervalued at this moment. Take some time to get to know the people you will be working with understand what each person including yourself is bringing to the table utilize each specific skill appropriately to help your project grow 
Okay, 75. Seven, eight, nine, 12, that's a three. Yeah, so it's about creativity. So interesting. Um, so I really do feel like it's like, what does this person bring to the table for you? Do they have this knowledge here? Do they have this, this inner knowing? Um, they're trying to tell you that they do for sure. I don't know that they do or not though. It's kind of, um, feels like a mirage of team building. Like I'm here for you, we're working together. I'm doing this for you. Uh -huh. And then we have the Page of Cups on the bottom. Not somebody is uh, in their infancy of the emotion, right? Let's see what the relationship is. The High Priestess. The Hierophant. This is the Two of Cups and the Sun. Interesting. I do feel like there might be some sort of turn in this relationship. Um, There's a lot of wisdom here. There's a lot of messages coming through. I mean, this is pretty major. You have three of the major arcanas. And then we have the collaboration of emotions of coming together. I feel like this is an ancient relationship, like you've been together for a really long time. I feel like you already have a higher knowing of how this person is and how they're hiding behind this mask and causing you this heartache of these promises. So I do think that with the sun here, it really is, it's going to be a new beginning. You guys are gonna collaborate. Um, maybe you're going to have some sort of discussion here. About this. And you are gonna come together here um, and really have a heart to heart conversation. Right, and this is the yes, this is the go. Okay. Okay, the flame. really need to shine the light on the situation um, to be able to see it more clearly for that rainbow to come out and illuminate the space that you're in and we have the pyramid again you know so there's a lot of like Egyptian um, spirit there 
Here's the king. All right, uh, the king. Interesting. It says, as I'm saying, the Egyptian, it's, it reminds me of King Tut. Right, and all the riches that he has in his tomb. Right, but they're not really there for the taking. They're supposed to stay there for eternity with King Tut's body, which of course, everything has been moved around. King Tut himself has been moved around, right? The, the tomb has been um, dismantled, has been disturbed. And so I feel like um, those riches might be being shared with you. To where this person might have been hoarding them before. Okay, dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Beware of greed, pig. And we have wealth. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is somebody that you're definitely having relations with. Um, and they do seem very greedy, but I do think this is going to turn around and they are going to share this wealth with you. Seven, Jupiter, abundance. Right, and this also kind of reminds me of that tower. You know, normally they have the lightning strike on the tower. And here we have the lightning. So when the lightning strikes, I think this is going to set this in motion. And I think that conversation that you're going to have is going to be that lightning strike. And this person really is going to open up their spiritual um, aspects on, in a good way. Okay, 36th house routine. Okay, and I think there needs to be a... Um, a good routine set for the two of you to build, to rebuild this house and this foundation. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do this one. Okay, and this is the character oracle. Detective, investigator of truth, sleuth, clues, pursuer, truth unveiled. Yeah. So, you know, there's some detective work here that needs to be done to um, bring this truth out of why this person is holding back from you or, you know, offering you things and then not giving them, them to you. Lover, love, romance, reproduction, infinity. 
Okay, and this is this conversation is going to open this up, right? You are gonna have the sun here, this collaboration. Revolutionist, champion of transformation, freedom fighter, pursuer of welfare and justice. Right? You're really having to fight for what you deserve. And it is going to prevail. It's going to transform. Okay. All right, pile number one. That was your reading. I hope you found it useful. If so, please share this with others who might also find it useful. Okay, I'm going to move on to pile number two. Okay, pile number two. Road closed. All right. Okay, your deeper meaning. Just as doors open and close in life, so too does the road we walk upon. Sometimes a road is opened, but at other times it is closed. The road closed sign has a couple of different meanings. One is showing you that you shouldn't even start down this road since you won't get through. No matter how forcefully or gingerly you try, the situation, person, place, or thing is either not energetically right for you or it is not the right timing or placement. By not pursuing something that isn't in alignment, you free your energy to find what road is open. You can discover new opportunities for your new gifts to unfold. Another meaning can occur when asking about something that is closely aligned with your heart, your passion, and your intention, and you still get road closed. The reflection of drawing road closed may be coming from an outmoded belief you are holding on, you are holding, or a fear that is ready to be released. You are the one creating the block. By releasing your fear or, or belief, the road can now open for you. Grace can come into your life and shower you. If you have drawn the road to close card today, spend some time in silence and listen for guidance about your path. Look and see if it is time to release internal blocks from fulfilling your deepest heart desire. Or if the road close sign is guiding you to not go down a road, that is not for your highest and best. Look to see what new road is ready to open for you now. Mm. All right, pile number two. is the six of wands right, this one came out upside down um, I'm not sure what it is Pentacles looks like maybe the five of Pentacles We do see um, you are not in a lack of anything, right? And you have a lot of abundance here and a lot of passion. The Ace of Pentacles. And uh, this is the Four of Cups. So, 
But yeah, you, there's definitely a lot of abundance here. But we do have um, some sort of emotional healing going on. Even like creating a potion, you know, getting the teardrops from this cloud and catching this in your cup to help this rose grow. It almost looks like um, <clears throat> a Venus, <clears throat> excuse me, a Venus flytrap and it has a cup in it. So, um, there could be somebody who is kind of toying with your emotions um, and maybe trying to prevent you from growing as they feel like, or it could be feeding your emotions, right? It almost could be um, some sort of a manipulation, uh, you know, a spell. Um, even like a, a death or, you know, like a murder, because this reminds me of the teardrop and you know, the prisoners who tattoo teardrops on their eye is supposed to re represent the people that they've, they've killed. I do think that you are trying um, different things to feed yourself, right? These are the different ways. These are the different paths, the different roads that you can take. Well, maybe I'll just eat those emotions and suck them down. Or I will feed the emotions with, um, with my tears to fill that cup, right? Because in order to heal, you really need to feel your emotions and not shove them down. Okay, but there is a lot of abundance here. Um, this could be spiritual abundance, or this could be actual money, tangible things. Ace of Wands. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of Wands. Okay, Page of Cups. This showed up at the bottom of the deck in the pile number one. Okay, and um, what is this, the seven? Yeah, seven, no, there's more than seven here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, yeah, nine. This is the nine of wands. This is um, them. So someone is definitely offering you a gift, um, a gift of passion and fire. Um, and it might be a lot for them to handle. Um, This bird here, it looks like it, there's the, the wands are so heavy that they're falling. They can't hold them, hold it all. Like there's so much passion that they feel like they're falling. Okay, yeah, I feel like this, um, this could be a new love that's coming in because we have the page of cups here, um, which is in its infancy. 
It's just beginning, just learning about the emotions that are here. And there is a lot of fire and passion and a lot of fast movement. And they feel like they just need to slow down a little bit because they, I think, are really falling for you. And uh, maybe they're not sure if that road is closed or not, or if they need to find a new path. You know, they're afraid of being hurt. I feel like this is going to be um, a really hard journey with you. Relationship, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you know, and this I do believe um, there could be an offer of marriage here coming together. Um, it doesn't even necessarily have to be marriage, it just could be an offer of love. <laughs> yeah. Um, the seven of wands and we literally have the heart here right um they're gonna take their fear the fears that they have here and make it strong so that they can open up their heart to you page of wands here we have a fox You know, foxes are sly. So, I don't know if they're... Um, they're trying to think of a, a good way to come towards you. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and then we have um, the same one here, the Nine of Wands, but it's just black and white. Um, instead of having all the colors, I feel like, you know, they feel like there's a gray area here that love is not always black and white. Right, there's a lot of different things going on. I'm gonna read that one. All right, Nine of Wands. And open the page. Um, this is drawing number one, so it might be the very beginning here. Let's see. Here we go. Personality. Notable cards. Drawing number one and seventy nine. The Nine of Wands. This card came as a forewarning of the long and arduous road ahead of me. I would often look back to this card in the earlier mentioned advice from Ian when in moments of self-doubt, keep pushing, be persistent, and don't take 
no for an answer. Okay. And that's, <laughs> and that's the 11 page, right? So this could be your twin flame here. Um, this could be that runner chaser aspect. And I feel like this person is chasing you and you are running. All right, let's see here on the colored one. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is about resilience, perseverance, and self-preservation. Sometimes achieving your goals comes easy. Other times the journey to the top is long and arborous. The nine reminds us to tenaciously push through these struggles with whatever energy we have left. The man is beaten and bruised. He is thin and hungry and with hunger and he clings to his wand for support. His journey has been long. He is weak, but he is not dead. He knows his struggles are temporary. There is hope for him ahead. He needs to make one more big push to get back on track and it will likely take everything he has left to get there, but he will not give up. It is important to remember that not all things come easily. Sometimes life is hard and rarely do you get what you want without a fight. You will need to continue to push hard for what you want harder than you might have been expecting. Your struggles will ease up soon, but right now you still have some work to do. Interesting. And uh, it's 79, so that's 16, that's a seven, that's about your spirituality, right? Okay, and you know, we do have that road closure. So yeah, it's gonna be hard. Because if that road is closed, that was the easy path to get there. And now you have to go climbing through these mountains and you're gonna get rubbed up a little bit. Okay, but ultimately, you want this love to win. The father. I always forget I have so much room, I don't want to put it on top. <laughs> the father, we have the two sides of the story. We have the two paths. We have one, one path that's got color, right? So I'm just put this on the side because it does represent these cards, right? We have the color and the star, that star that, that you're wishing upon, that you're manifesting your dreams upon. And then we have just the black and white with the penny, right? You're looking for that penny out in the woods, which is not an easy task. You need to ground yourself be prepared for survival. And the temple. <clears throat> so I feel like, yeah, you just need to meditate, you know, um, to help this grow. Give me a purse. Pay attention to your finances, right? Here's the very wealth, wealthy person here as you. We have a lot of abundance here. December. And it looks like an angel. Uh, it almost looks like she's got like uh, rocks in front of her, like this the rubble of the tower. It could even be like coins, right? Coins falling out of the purse. 
It's like literally falling out of her. And we have scissors. Disappointment in some affair. And these scissors are like really wrapped up here with some cloth so that it doesn't hurt your hand. It's padding, it's protection. Right, because you are going through this, right? You're gonna have to cut through some tape. You need to um, cut through the woods, right? And you are afraid, this other person is afraid of some disappointment and giving you this offering their passion to you. Six, Saturn, Truth. Okay, it's that, that truth of this love that's coming through in harmony. And 45, this is a nine, this is about wisdom and endings, part of fortune, increase. So you're definitely gonna have an increase in fortune here. Character. King. Um, sovereign of realms. Sovereign of realms. Monarch. Authority. Rule. Inheritance. Interesting. I feel like, yeah, you're going to have this, like, you know, part of fortune, this increase of inheritance. Um, definitely, you know, since you are very abundant, maybe you have a lot of money and um, this person, you know, wants to come into your life and maybe there is something about the money holding them back. Because they um, don't want you to feel like they're after you for your money. Influencer. Trendsetter. Content creator. Follower. Online influence. Right. And this is that runner chaser aspect here. They're following you around. They want to influence you to be with them. Okay, one more spirit says. Young, <laughs> vitality, innovation, potential growth. Yeah. So this is still in its infancy, right? This is that page of wands. The love is still new, but there is potential for growth here. You just need to continue with your vitality and push forward. Um, don't let this road blockage stop you. Figure out a way. Persevere. It's worth it. Okay, pile number two, that was your reading. Thank you for being here. If you found that to be useful, please share uh, so others can get the same benefits as well. Okay, and you might even want to go back to um, pile number one because of um, this page of cups here that was on the bottom of the deck that showed up. So... There might be something for you there. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.
Okay, pile number three, begin. All right, your deeper meaning. Begin is a fun card. Something new is beginning in your life. What is it you're being asked to begin? A relationship, a project, a venture, a vacation, a new way of being with yourself? Begin is telling you, yes, begin is now. Something new is unfolding in your life. Coming forth, blossoming, being realized. While feminine energy gives us the inspiration and the vision, masculine ener energy gives us action and forward motion. The begin sign holds the masculine energy and tells us to take action and get things going. Begin is about putting the vision into physical form. Look and see where in your life you could take a first step and set something in motion. Taking a first step creates forward energy. If you resist and avoid taking these initial steps, you will create a dam that will hold everything back. As you begin, it is essential you clarify your intentions. Intentions hold the energy and the foundation from which everything else will bloom and grow. If you have drawn the begin card today, look at your intentions as you embark on something new. Take those first steps and don't hesitate. Have fun with this new beginning in your life. Every time I read, I have to take water. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, let's see, is this a 10? Ten? 10 of Swords. Oh, I feel like your your hands are been severed and they're they're tied up. Um you've been stabbed through the back of your head and your in your back, and it's coming to the foreground here. Ooh, death. Okay. Um, death seems to be embracing this woman here. This is the uh, Six of Swords. About leaving things behind and moving on to calmer waters. Oh, and this is... The, uh, let's see, we have eight, nine, the nine of cups in reverse. Wow, this is very strong right off the bat. Um, I feel like you've been stabbed in the back. Maybe somebody stole some of your riches from you. And so you are moving on. Um, you are embracing this death and um, transforming and moving on to a brighter future. All right, and here we, we're moving on here. So this is the masculine energy. This is feminine energy. even reminds me of like Van Gogh a little bit the colors and kind of the way it's not actually swirling though it's all flat but just the way it is de depicted here in the water um, this is, feels very like artistic very dramatized right um,
And uh, you're pulling these swords out and you're moving on. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. The Sun. Ooh. So this was, these both were in um, the first pile. You might want to go back and look at the first pile. Oh, the High Priestess. So was this one. I did shuffle these. <laughs> of course, they were um, not in this order either. And they were not for your person. In the Hierophant, this one was in the first pile too. Um, these three were part of the relationship though. And this one was this person. So definitely go back and look at pile number one. Okay, this person definitely feels very spiritual. Um, this is the new beginning. So I think that once you get rid of whatever's going on here and you move away from this, this person who is stealing your emotions and your abundance, um, I feel like, yeah, you're even moving away from home here. You are going to, um, come alive. You're going to be reborn and you're going to have, um, a better sense of spirituality. And we have three major arcanas here again, which is very big. Um, <clears throat> you're going to have a collaboration with someone else who is going to make you feel really good. And you're going to have a great connection. It's going to allow you to be a lot more creative. Like your true personality is really going to come out with this person. And this person seems very um, spiritually inclined in a very positive way. And they have some messages for you. Okay, and they're going to show you with their actions and not their words. Okay, the relationship, the fool. Okay, you're stepping into the unknown. You don't see the danger here, the snake, as you're holding this flower and you're blindfolded. Okay, it looks like you're out having a good time. You're all dressed up. You got feathers in your hair. You get reefs in your hair. You're out in the sun. Um... So it reminds me of like Victorian age, like the Roaring Twenties, Flapper. <clears throat> mm. I believe this was in pile one as well. This was you though. Um, this is now in the relationship. <clears throat> this is the Six of Wands. Okay, this is harmony with passion. And uh, she still has like the same reef in her hair here, this olive branch. This one's look like little berries. This one's the olive branch. <clears throat> um, so I feel like this person is really going to uh, give you an olive branch, right? Because of what you've already had to deal with, with that danger. I don't think I've ever gotten this card before. Um, this is the Eight of Wands. 
and it's a mandala. <clears throat> uh, this relationship's going to bring you a lot of harmony. And we have these sun rays coming down. This, you know, the sun here. <clears throat> this person's going to shine a lot of light in your life. I was like, there's even a farm down here with like a little um, creek or river. Or like a creek. I could just be like the water channels, right? To um, water this farm here. So there's definitely a lot of passion here. Um, a lot of harmony. Lots of color. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. It's about taking that chance, taking the risk, uh, learning new things. Okay, and then we have um, the houses back here. This is like the birth chart, so definitely um, look at your birth chart. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Let's see, I have our little cheat sheet here. Um, I believe Libra. I'm not sure about that one. Um, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one either. I think that's uh, Sag. I'm not sure. So, <clears throat> this is about being reborn and having a lot of passion and not having any fear about this relationship. There's nothing to worry about. You are abundant. Um, this is new beginnings, taking that risk, spinning the wheel. Stomach's growling right now. I'm hungry. Right? You'll be hungry for this. Oh, let's drop the whole deck. The ocean, right? And here we have you sailing the ocean here and moving on, finding that pearl, that black pearl. Right, which is really rare. And it almost kind of looks like a sun or maybe like an eclipse. An eclipse of the heart. That reminds me of that song. This also reminds me of um, Johnny Depp and um, Pirates of the Caribbean. The Black Pearl. In Search of the Black Pearl. Ooh. Okay, and this one came out in, um, I believe it was the first pile as well. So definitely go back and look at pile number one. Okay, and the king, and here is a golden pearl. So you might have been in search of this black pearl, but you've gotten this golden pearl. And um, this even reminds me of a letter. You know, when they used to stamp the letters in the older, olden days um, with the wax. Alright, let's 
let's see, we're going for the tea leaf here. We have eagle, triumph over troubles, obstacles. All right, you need to soar here. Ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. I definitely feel like this is a um, well yeah I thought originally this was probably something romantic but it definitely could be a business um, there is just a lot of um, collaboration here and passion for creating and learning something new so this really could just be a business Green one in here. There it is. In love. <laughs> so that's funny as I say that, I really feel like it's a business, and then love pops out. All right, so this actually might start out as being a business partnership, and um, it could turn into a romantic love or you just, you share the same passions, right? And whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you're collaborating with, you're sharing that, the same passion. So there's that love there. So it could be a platonic relationship. And we have 36 nine it's about wisdom and endings 12th house escape right that was your escape there you finally gained that wisdom to leave the situation that was stealing things from you all right and then we have three we have mercury the mind right and now you're expanding your mind with this other person who's shining the light. All right, and let's do some character. Blacksmith, forge, melting, shaping, tempering. Yeah, so, um, there's going to be some work involved here to create what you want. You know, but um, it's going to be a creative endeavor for sure. So it's not going to feel like work because you're going to love it so much. Engineer, architect of solutions, in engineering practice, problem solver, complex systems, technology. Okay, so you could be an engineer, right? Locksmith is um, kind of like an engineer too. They're playing with fire here. This is their passion, right? And this is really things that you need to study, like you need to have quite a bit of education to become an engineer, right? And here um, you are studying. So yeah, you might have met this person in school and you're working on the same types of projects. Uh -huh. Soldier, guardian of nations, loyalty, honor, integrity, selfless service. I don't really feel like this person is your soldier. They're helping you um, move forward. You are a soldier. You're moving forward here. This one popped out. Criminal, transgressor of justice, prison, parole, discipline. So in pile number two, um, we had some tears, and I was talking about when you're in prison. Uh, you get the tattoos of the teardrops on under your eye of how many people you've killed. Um, right. 
and this one reminds me of that. So, um, I just think that you need to have uh, the discipline to move forward uh, the transgressor of justice. So, you're going to have your justice here. After this person, you know, whoever this was over here has taken everything from you. You've lost everything and you are going to have your justice. And you're going to come out this well-rounded person with some skills. You're a soldier. You're going to keep flying, right? And this is really going to be a great connection for having your riches. Okay, pile number three, that was your reading. If you enjoyed that, uh, please share it so that others can get the same benefits. And um, I appreciate you being here as always. Please hit the subscribe button, share, like, subscribe, help me out here. Let's uh, come together and I can shine the light for you and you can shine the light for me, okay? And let's have abundance together. Okay. Thank you. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.